into the center. These two go. Ball is up, and it is won by Idaho State. They will get the opening possession here with the jump won by Braden Parker, the big center for Idaho State. They get things up and going as the Bobcats come out in uh, their man-to-man -man defense. Down inside, posting up. Parker goes out, but he traveled. He took an extra step, and we're going the other way. An early turnover coming the way of Idaho State. Nice job by Jabril. He creates a contact to force the balance, and then he basically pulls the chair out from under Parker, who shuffles the feet and turns it over. All right, Bobcats' first possession. Abdul Muhammad at the top will kick it to Xavier Bishop on the left wing, who gets a screen out of Bello. Kick it over to the right wing. Right wing three up for Abed Adamu. Wide open look that won't go off the side, and it's a little bit of deja vu for uh, know, this coaching staff. A lot of wide open looks in that contest against Weaver State. They just wouldn't fall. Bobcats struggle to be able to shoot the long range ball. They'll look to be able to do it better today as Parker goes with a reverse layup up and in, and Idaho State is first on the board. Two nothing. Out of the gates here from Bozeman, Montana. Bobcats obviously want to work a lot quicker than this Idaho State group. They get it down in a hurry, and they try to go down inside to Bellow. Fight for the ball down to the ground, and the whistle is coming. It appears as if jump ball will be signaled, and it will stay with the Bobcats. Abdul was trying to get it down inside to uh, Jabril Bellow and kind of into the passing lane, lane a little bit was Idaho State. Yeah, and Idaho State's really going to pack it into the paint. They do not want to give post touches. They don't want Parker in foul trouble. Bobcats got to force the issue into paint. Xavier Bishop driving in, wanted some contact, but no such luck. Idaho State grabs that basketball, bringing it down to us, Tyreek Cool. Again, there, uh, Idaho State the last couple of games now has been without one of their leading scorers in Robert Ford, who averages 10.9. Now, technically, uh, Tyreek Cool is the leading scorer at 11, but we're talking about .1 difference between those two, that tandem. As the three-pointer won't go on the far side corner that time, it'll rebound coming the way of the Bobcats. Down inside, Abed Adamu up top to Jabril Bella now over to the left wing to Xavier Bishop. Coming off the screen, drives into the center of the lane, lets a floater go, and it's off the front of the rim that time. No such luck. Again, a little bit of contact, but they're allowing a lot more to be played than what we saw on Thursday. At the top of the key, three-pointer thrown up, but it will not go. What a fight for that rebound. Xavier Bishop's got it. Xavier now feeding it up. Tyler Patterson, right wing three, off the side of the rim, but it won't go out of bounds, and it will go for Idaho State now. And just uh, just like you said, Coach Annie Sprinkle not liking the intensity out of the gates. He'll go with the young uh, Kellen Times out of the gates. Yeah, you saw Xavier drive in, turn it over once, and then shoot kind of a tentative shot the second time. Kellen Times gets a quick call, and the Bobcats looking to make some changes offensively. Kellen's got that great defense. He'll he'll get the card at the uh, as soon as he inbounds his basketball, and he knocks it out of bounds that time. Tyreek Cool had it out of his hands, out of bounds. Last touch by Kellen, though, and it will stay with Idaho State now. So here we go, 17.45 left to go with the first half, 2-0. Idaho State leading Montana State. Bobcats not been able to score last couple of times down the court. Here's Cool into the center of the lane, lets a floater off glass, up and through. 4-0. Idaho State leading Montana State out of the gates. Kellen Towns will get a time, but a dominant quickly down the court. Now Abdul Muhammad at the top. They'll feed it to Bello. No shot. A whistle coming. It's a foul on the ground coming against Idaho State. The first whistle against either team. They'll be whistled in that time on number 25, Great Parker. Number 25, like I talked about, he's fouled out of seven games this season. Parker is going to be someone to watch with that, that kind of physicality that him and Jabril Bello will go against each other. They'll try to keep him in the game as long as possible. There's Kellen Times with a couple of dribbles. Now, um, now Amit Adamu at the top of the key. Between the legs, driving into the lane. Backs his way, now kicks it to Kellen Times. Times into the center lane, will kick it to Amit Adamu. Adamu with a three. Down to the corner, won't go that time. Off the mark, and the rebound. Uh, fighting for the rebound, a whistle going to be coming against Jabril Bello. He'll get his first, and the team will get their first. Yeah, Jabril tried to push off there, and it gets that offensive rebound. Pretty easy call underneath. Bobcats very sluggish offensively. No movement of the ball, no movement of players. Just really slow and moving in quicksand. Get it around the timeline here by Idaho State. They'll now go down inside and kick it over to the corner to Carr. Carr with the right wing three. Halfway into the night, it won't go. And a rebound for Amon Adamu. Adamu looking to work quickly. Will get past half court, take it the whole way himself. Now kicks over to the corner. Now back to the top. Abdul Muhammad. Looked like he wanted it. He'll drive in, turn, spin, up, and through that time. That's the Abdul Muhammad that we're used to, and that's two points coming the way of the Bobcats to uh, put the score at 4-2, Idaho State leading it. And the best offensive possession there, Bobcats get three quick touches in under a second and give their 
second leading scorer, a chance to go attack. Fight for that rebound, and Tyler Patterson will save it into the hands of Idaho State. Now it's stolen away by Kellen Times. Three on two, bumped out way, driving up, layup is blocked out of there. Bellow gets the rebound and the putback and the foul. Count the basket that time. The whistle coming against number three, Malik Porter. He'll get his first. The team will get their second. So out of the free throw line to try to get Montana State their first lead of this game. Now is Jabril Bellow in a 4-4 ball game with 16-15 left to go with the first half. You never really know how a team is going to get sparked, but right here you're seeing it from Kellen Tynes. The defensive intensity, a couple deflections, get his team out in transition. He's doing a nice job. Sophomore, sophomore point guard making a difference early. You can tell it kind of gets into the head too of Tyreek Cool. He's not as, as calm at that point guard spot, but he's got Kellen Tynes all over him, forcing him to drive over to his right a little bit. Now they're cleared over to the top. Now there's 16 minutes to go with his first half of the Bobcats with a one-point lead. Get it down to the baseline, spin move down inside, off class and a nice little move coming that way of Malik Porter. The senior out of Phoenix, Arizona gets two and gives Idaho State back the lead 6-5. Coach Danny Sprinkle in his third season here at the helm of the Montana State Bobcats on the other side, Ryan Looney. Head coach for Idaho State trying to turn around this program right now who sits 2-10 on the season after a struggle in the non-conference part of the year. Back in his way into the hoop now. Hook shot thrown up for Abdul Muhammad. It won't go, but it's going to be saved now by Kellen Times. Cut it down on the baseline. Great Asabar with a big finish. 7-6. Bobcats back in front by one. And give Kellen Times an assist on that one. Great little dump off for the dunk. And the sophomore again making a nice impact for his team. Again, they get it over to Porter down to the baseline. He couldn't move and spin around that time, and they're cleared over to the right side now to Daxton Carr. Back over to the top to Parker. Over to the far side, not down into the post. Four seconds to spare. He's a fadeaway jumper from 10 foot. We'll back up with our coaches' television show each week. Recording that on Monday, and that will air on Tuesday across the state on ABC Fox. All right, so here's Abdul Muhammad passing half court of the Bobcat offense trying to take back this lead. Kellen Times at the top will dish over to the right side. Tom at the top. Now it's Abdul Muhammad at the top. Patterson with the basketball. A lot of movement with this ball going all around the top line. Now it's Kellen Times, Abdul Muhammad, and Ahmed Adamu. Down to seven seconds left on that shot clock. <laughs> Driving in, Ahmed Adamu with a floater. Won't go. Kellen Times with a putback off the mark that time. And a rebound coming for Idaho State. Idaho State holds an 8-7 lead right now with 14, now 15 left to go with the first half. Work around the timeline over to the top. Uh, Taylor checked in during that last media timeout. They don't run too deep. Here's another one of those subs coming down inside. Back in his way over the hoop, and this one's stolen away. That time it was Zach Vinston. He's trying to go up with that right-handed layup, but it was taken away by Great Asabar. So the Bobcats again with an opportunity to take back this lead. Trying to hit some of those long rangers. 0 for 3 from 3, just 3 for 11 from the field of the Bobcats. Here's Kellen Times, draws the foul. And he'll go to the free throw line now. Now whistle coming against number 2, Tyreek Cool. His first, team's third, the leading scorer for Idaho State this season. Kellen Times is going to get the opportunity to get 2 and take back the lead for the Bobcats. Montana State 1 for 1 to the free throw line in today's contest so far with Jabril Bello hitting his and one shot. Free throws up, no good. Off the back of the rim that time, and Raekwon Battle will check in. Amon Adama will check out. And the Bobcats have had nice ball movement, player movement these last couple possessions, but they got to be a little more aggressive attacking the basket. It can't just be moving around the perimeter. That time, Tynes takes it in there, draws a foul, gets himself to the line, makes one of two. Second free throw is good, and that goes ahead and ties things up. Eight apiece, Montana State eight, Idaho State eight. 13.40 to go in this first half. Between the legs, driving over to the right now, Tyreek Cool, who again has been in his head a little bit with Kellen Times all over him. They get around the defender now, little floater in the center of the lane up, will not go, fighting for the rebound. Idaho State's got it, the put back not there, again with the rebound. And fighting for that rebound, it was out of bounds, and it will go to Montana State. Now a couple of back-to-back -back rebounds. This is a team that rebounds quite well. They've got seven rebounds on, uh, the, on the game now, and they've got two offensive rebounds. All right, so Kellen Times will bring the offense down in an 8-8 ball game. 13-17 left to go for the first half. Kick it to Abdul Muhammad now here at the high post. 
Come in time for the right side. The whistle comes off ball. Come up against Idaho stage number five. Austin Smaley, and that's going to be his first team's fourth. Four team fouls against Idaho State. One team foul coming against the Montana State Bobcats. We had double digit fouls in the first and second half in the game on Thursday. Physical game. So Muhammad now will get the inbound and will clear it over to the top. Here's Colin Times resetting this offense with 13.02 left to go to the first half. So Muhammad driving in will kick it to Patterson. Patterson with a three from the right side. Won't go. Fight for the rebound and it's going to be won by Idaho State. The three point woes continue. Idaho State no score in the last two minutes and now five seconds. Trying to get on the scoreboard and trying to take back the lead in an 8 8 deadlock with 12.42 left to go for the first half. This one stolen away by Kellen Times. One on one here. He's going to dish over to Patterson. Patterson goes up. He draws the foul and he'll go to the free throw line. A little bit of confusion there between Patterson and Raekwon. They both thought they were going to be taking that ball from Kellen Times, but the whistle coming nonetheless against number 30. Against number 32. Yep, that's uh, Vince Vincent. It's going to be his first team fit. Yeah, well, you see a nice little contribution by Kellen Times. A couple steals, a couple deflections. He's scored a point, got an assist, and uh, he played some minutes there. Looks pretty tired. Gives Bishop a chance to come back in, but sends a message to the senior you got to step up, raise your level, or I'll come in and take some minutes. Kellen Times playing five minutes already, and like you said, he plays tough. He's all over the court. They decide to take him out, go with Xavier Bishop. Second free throw would not go after the first one fell for Tyler Patterson. So it's a 9 8 advantage for the Bobcats. Pass half court with the basketball now is Liam Sorensen. They clear it over to the top. Sorensen running a little point now. As Idaho State likes to work it around the top line, likes to post it up down inside. They'll get it over to Sorensen on the right block. Ten seconds now left until a shot's got to get off, and now they'll clear it back out to one of the big fellas outside. Sorensen again, dishing over to the top. Fadeaway jumper with two seconds left, and he's got it right in front of the three-point line. It's two points, but it's good, and it gives Idaho State the 10-9 lead. 11.58 left to go for the first half. It was good defense that time, too, and an offensive foul coming against the Bobcats. Fouls coming against number one. Close. You're getting looks. You just got to get guys to get in rhythm, and usually that's contagious. Somebody gets hot, and all of a sudden, two, three guys get hot. All right, so it's it's Porter now with the basketball. Cleared over to the top down to Carr. Carr dishes around the right side over here to Parker, and Parker will get it down inside to Sorensen. He's posting up now Xavier Bishop, clearing it to the top. The big fella with the long-range three. Good. Up and through that time for Braden Parker, the 6'8", 250-pounder. It's a three at the top of the key, and the Bengals with their largest lead of today's game, 13-9. They lead it over the Bobcats with 11-24 left to go with the first half. Parker makes his 7-3 of the season on 24 attempts. And this one deflected from Great Asabarn into the hands now of Parker. Idaho State with the basketball. The Bobcats are running big right now with both Jabril Bello and Great Asabarn in there running the four and five spots. A couple of big guys that can post it up inside. 11.04 left to go with the first half, 13 to 9. Idaho State in front by four. Here's a jumper in the middle of the lane. Up no good. Gets his own rebound. The put back. He's fouled that time. Wow, just up and through with it for Malik Porter. This foul coming against Great Asabar, his first team's third. Yeah, Great does a nice job defending the shot right there. And makes Porter work for it, but he's a little slow getting to the offensive or defensive glass. Porter slides in there, comes up with it, draws a foul. All right, so out of the free throw line, out of his state's first time at the free throw line today. Try to extend their lead off the front of the rim. It will not go that time. For number three, Malik Porter. Porter this season is 50% for the free throw line to 16 of 32. It's an area where this team has struggled a bit. They shoot just uh, 65% for the free throw line. Bobcats shoot about 10% better. 756 remaining in the first half. Idaho State with 13 9 advantage. Second free throws up and good that time. So a five point lead now for Idaho State. A little bit of full court pressure, but the Bobcats get through it quickly. Amadou Dambu over to the right side now. It's Xavier Bishop at the top. Bishop getting the offense set. Gives it over to the right to Nick Gazelas, who checked in during that most recent media timeout. They'll get it down inside to Bello. Bello has it knocked out of his hands that time, and Idaho State with the basketball. Another turnover. By well, the Bobcats, who now have committed four turnovers. Idaho State in the middle of a 6-0 run right now. They're trying to extend it further. 
scored six consecutive baskets in just a minute 29 and the Bobcats without a field goal and now four minutes and 55 seconds here's a turn spin shot up way high off glass won't go for Parker and a rebound inside for the Bobcats Xavier Bishop between the legs crossovers and uh, doesn't like it They'll reset the offense around the top line. They'll go down inside to Jabril Bello. Backs his way over to the right side. Up and through for Jabril Bello that time. And the Bobcats are back within three. Stops a two and a half minute scoring drive for the Bobcats. Pulls it back within a three point ball game at 9.55. Left to go with the first half. Idaho State with a 14 11 advantage. Idaho State works around the top line. They work deep in that shot clock consecutively each time. They get it over to the side. Now it's. Now it's Parker with the basketball and around the timeline over to the right side to Porter. Here again for three. Left wing up, no good for Parker. He's got some range to him, and Jabril Bello knows it. He's going to have to put a hand in his face. Here's Xavier Bishop into the lane, and an offensive foul going to be coming against the Bobcats. It's an off ball one coming against Jabril Bello, who's got two now, and the team's got four. All right, so Abdul Muhammad will come in for Jabril Bello. Great Asimar will stay into the game. 9.32 left to go for the first half. 14 to 11. Idaho staying in front by three. The Bobcats either feel like they get, get a really good shot and either make or miss, or they just turn it over. This game already five turnovers in the first half. Get it down over to the right block. Backing his way in, and this one's going to be a kick. It looked like it was stolen by the Bobcats, but a kick uh, by Abdul Muhammad that time on his leg. So it will stay with Idaho State underneath their own basket. They were trying to go across the timeline there, and a good call as it got a piece of the foot of Abdul Muhammad. 9.15 left to go with the first half. Here's a right wing three thrown up, and no good. Off the mark that time for A.J. Bergen. Fight for the rebound, and the Bobcats have it. Idaho State going a little bit deeper in their lineup today than what they typically do this season. They've only ran about seven or so as they get it over to the right block to Great Asabar. He goes up, a lot of contact, no call. And they're working around the timeline. This one's blocked that time as Nick Cazales threw up a three. Out of bounds, and it will stay with the Montana State Bobcats. And Coach Danny Sprinkles says, everyone from this side could see there was a lot of contact down inside of that Great Asabar. And the official claims that that uh, the ball was just stripped. It's a clean strip. And that's why Alcibar's arms flailed all over. Bobcats doing a good job of getting post touches, but not getting anything easy. And you saw Idaho State just absolutely close out on Gazelas, believing in no chance he would do anything but shoot a three. All right, five seconds to shoot here for Xavier Bishop. Fadeaway jumper from 10 foot. Bounces around and it won't go. And Idaho State gets the rebound. 8.39 left to go for the first half. 14 to 11. Idaho State leading it right now by three. Around the top and they go over to the left wing and now clear it over to the top to uh, Vincent. Now it's Porter with basketball. Over to the far side now, Malik Porter. With 8.22 left to go for the first half. Down to nine seconds to shoot. Over to the right side in Bergeron. Down into the corner he goes. Clears it over to the top. Here's one of the big fellas throwing up a three again. This time it's Vincent. And a foul going to be called on this rebound. Foul's coming against number 13, Daxton Carr. And that's Carr's first, team sixth. 16 fouls coming against Idaho State. 14 fouls coming against the Bobcats with 8.13 left to go in the first half. Borja Fernandez checks into the lineup now for the Bobcats. Bobcats have gone 10 deep here again, just like the other night against Weaver State. Using their depth, they need guys to just be a little more productive on the offensive end. See if they can't get Borja going. Obviously, Borja has a great freshman sophomore year, and the injury set him down for a majority of the beginning of this season. Trying to get him going, trying to get him back to where he was back those first couple of seasons for the Bobcats. As Ahmed Adamu's got on the right post, still now dish out to Abdul Muhammad. Fakes the shot, now dishes over to Gazelas. Back over to the top to Ahmed. Now over to Nick. Two seconds to shoot. Throws it up. No good. Side of the rim. And it uh, it'll get contagious, but right now it's contagious the other direction. All right, so bringing the basketball down is Liam Sorensen, the Denmark native. Gets a pass half court. Now he's trying to post up against Xavier Bishop down to the right block. He's double teamed down to the right corner. Looking for somewhere to go with the basketball. Trying to get through the double team, but the ball's going to be stolen away. But it will be picked up that time by Idaho State's Malik Porter. Down to 10 seconds. And it's blocked out of there. Alvin Adamu on a one on one driving. Fadeaway jumper. Pound it. And to the free throw line with a fadeaway jumper from four foot. Bobcats can't get things going offensively, and what they do is they go to a more pressure defense, trap the low post, and Xavier Bishop gets put down there against Sorensen, and now all of a sudden you get transition. 
Now the coaches are gonna call for a press. So you're trying to create tempo with your defense if your offense can't get it going. This whistle coming against Austin uh, Smaley. That's gonna be his second personal, team seventh. So they will go ahead and put the Bobcats in the ball. This is the free throws up, bouncing around the rim and it will not go and a rebound coming the way of Idaho State now. Bobcats trailing by one. Pass half court getting it now is Sorensen. Get it to the top of the key to Parker. Now back over to Sorensen. Around the top of they go, moving it around from left to right. Over to the right block, now driving down to the baseline. Sorensen underneath the basket will clear it over to the top. Eight seconds left to shoot. Here with 6.54 left to go with the first half. Left wing three from Sorensen's no good. Rebound offensively coming inside for Idaho State. The putback's not there for Malik Porter, and the Bobcats get the rebound. Good chance, Sprinkle saying, let's go. Get it moving quickly. They'll get it over to the right side to Abdul Mahalik. Abdul goes down inside to Borja Fernandez. Borja now back in his way, into the right block. Now will turn, fakes his spin, over to the right off glass. And Borja Fernandez is on the scoreboard for the first time today. The Bobcats have the lead, 15-14. Montana State with 6.25 left to go in the first half. Yeah, 6-0 run for the Bobcats over four minutes. Wow, and a wide open layup will not go that time for Leon Sorensen. He had a wide open Attack to the lane and it just rims right on through with the Bobcats looking to build upon their one-point lead They'll dish it over to the right side now to Borja Fernandez and a fight for that basketball on the ground Jump ball that will go the way of Idaho State. It was 608 to go in the first half so It's Tyreek Cool and Braden Parker checking into the ball game with 608 to go in the first half 15-14 Bobcats in front by one Idaho State knows they need to with the Bobcats running deep. They've gone much deeper into this lineup than what they have this point of the season. Idaho State having not scored a basket now for five minutes. Still just trailed by one in a 15-14 ball game. But the Bobcats are on a 6-0 run in the last four minutes. Get over to the top. Right wing now, dribbling with the basketball is Tyreek Cool. Cool will get it down inside to, to uh, to Parker. Parker back in his way, down to the ground. He falls. This is balance as he got it over to Malik Porter. And again, a grab for this basketball jumping. And it results in a jump ball. Yeah, Cats getting again a little more aggressive defensively as soon as Par uh, Parker put the ball on the ground. They attack the dribble, create the turnover. All right, Abu to Dabu at the left wing will do a little fadeaway jumper from 12 foot. It will not go that time. But a rebound coming from Abdul Muhammad. Here's a long range three, right wing for Xavier Bishop. No good. And a rebound coming for Tyreek Cool down inside, going the other way. Idaho State trying to cut down on a one-point deficit. They haven't scored now five minutes and 45 seconds. And a whistle coming inside against Borja Fernandez. Borja will go ahead and get his first. The team will get their fifth. We're posting up on the far side. And kind of got the feet tangled up and the arm extended. Over the far side corner to Tyreek Cool. Oh, and again, that's back to back fouls coming against Borja Fernandez now. That one was just a chug as a defender comes across the lane. You put a forearm shiver on him, knock him three feet out of bounds. The referee's going to see that. Pretty easy call right there, which is unfortunate because Borja had a couple nice touches offensively. Looked like maybe he was someone who could kind of get things going on that end. For somewhere to go with his basketball. And it's going to be knocked out of there by Great Asabar on the inbound. Raekwon battle with it. Two on two. He'll stop in the lane and he'll be fouled. They ran right into him. He stopped right at the free throw line. Ran behind him right into him. And this foul is coming against number 13. Daxton Carr, his second personal. Team eight. And the Bobcats will go to the free throw line. The Bobcats have held the Bengals scoreless for six minutes now. They've taken a 14-9 game, turned it into a 15-14 lead. Opportunity here to keep that defense rolling and get a little offense on top of it. He throws up and good. Gives Montana State a two-point lead. Checking into the ball game now, Kyle Karstad. Moses Lake Washington, a 6'7", 210-pound freshman. 5.06 left to go for the first half. 16-14, Montana State in front by two. Here's Raekwon, second free throw up and good. And the Bobcats with their largest lead up this game of three right now with 5.04 to go for the first half. Tyreek Cool 
Haven't seen a ton of him in this game for the most part. Cool will get past half court over to the right wing now. Sorensen's been getting a majority of the minutes in that point guard spot. Go down inside, reverse layup, shot up, no good. And a rebound coming the way of the Montana State Bobcats. That's time as it wouldn't go for Parker. Here's Abdul Muhammad at the top. Gets it over to Xavier Bishop. And will kick it to Abba Adamu. Adamu driving down to the baseline, lets a floater go, and he's fouled. Ball's coming against number three, Malik Porter. He's got two, the team's got nine. So the Bobcats after this are going to be in that double bonus for the rest of four minutes and 39 seconds. And if you can't get anything going, making jump shots, next best thing is just attack the basket and either draw fouls or get finishes around the rim. And right now you see Montana State being very aggressive going to the rim. Free throw is up and good, and the Bobcats are in front by four with 439 left to go with the first half. Adamu's second free throw is good. So the Bobcats go now seven of ten. The free throw line, 70%. That is Tyreek Cool, who averages 11 points per game, has been held to just two so far. Dribbles over to the right. Xavier Bishop playing real nice defense on him so far. Kellen Times did the same. Here's a three-pointer to stop the drought. It does just that. Emmett Taylor hits a three-pointer to stop a six-minute and 30-second scoring drop that time for Idaho State. And it brings this game back within a possession. 19-17, Bobcats in front by two. Get it down over to Great Asabar, clears it back over to the top. Abad Adamu spins over to the right, shot up too hard, off the back of the rim that time, and with 4.03 to go with the first half, a rebound coming the way of Idaho State. Order at the right side, goes between the legs, resets his offense up at the top with 3.55 to go with the first half. Driving over to his left now, clears the lane off a little bit. Get a screen at the top of the key this time by Parker. Scoring run where the Bobcats over six and a half minutes were able to create just enough offense to get a hair of a lead. Free throws up and it will not go and a rebound cover the way. And the Montana State Bobcats, 340 left to go with the first half. 1917 Bobcats in front by two. Here's the Bobcats going around the timeline now. It's Abadadamu clears it to Borja Fernandez and now Xavier Bishop back over to Borja. Dribbles in a couple of steps. Now Xavier Bishop with the basketball. 325 to go with the first half. Borja Fernandez for three left wing and it won't go off this side of the rim that time. We haven't seen him hit down one of those three pointers that we saw him do his freshman and sophomore years. Bobcats without a field goal now. Three minutes and 13 seconds, but they lead it by two with 3.12 to go with the first half. Here's Parker, beats it down inside, and nowhere to go now. Double teamed by Karstetter. They'll clear it back over to Parker. They go across the timeline over to the right side. Takes a dribble, shot up, and good. Right through for him and Taylor that time. Back to a tie game, 19-19. Between Idaho State, Montana State. 2.50 left to go with the first half now. All knotted up. Xavier Bishop at the top dribble and gives it over to Abu Dhabi with the right way. Adamu, a couple of dribbles, will give it to Abdul Muhammad, and it's knocked out of bounds. It will stay with the Bobcats that time. Raekwon Battle will check in for Montana State. Six turnovers for the Bobcats so far, seven turnovers for Idaho State. The Bobcats 0 for 8 from 3. Idaho State on the other side, 2 for 9 from 3. Bobcats shooting 27% for the field. But yet tied up with Idaho State 1919. Here's Patterson just inside the three point line. Air ball down on the baseline that time. And you can see Patterson last couple of games now just isn't in his groove like we've seen him shoot the basketball. Yeah, we know what he's capable of, and so does everyone else in the league. But right now, he just doesn't have that look of confidence when he rises up to shoot. It's a look of hope. That usually is not a good thing. Underneath the basket, the shot will not go. Fight for it down to the ground. Xavier Bishop has it. Two on one, not with the numbers. Xavier Bishop will go up, and it's blocked that time by Idaho State. Idaho State going the other way now. And now it's on the ground again. Xavier Bishop has it. Wide open look with the right-handed layup. Up and good. And the Bobcats back in front. 21-19. That time the layup will fall for Xavier Bishop. Good little sequence there defensively with a couple deflections. Bobcat defense has been on point the last two nights. Their offense starts playing at the same level, and life will be good. He extended the arm. Offensive foul coming against Tyreek Cool. His second personal, the team's 10th. Checking in for the ball game for the first time is Sam Legolai. Also checking in. Back in will be Liam Sorensen. Couple of guys with two. In fact, four of the five starters sit with two fouls for Idaho State, but no one passed two. Minute 40 left to go for the first half. 21-19 to the Bobcats in front by two. 
be nice to get a shot here. Maybe even a three-pointer go up by five going into the halftime at least, if not a couple of possessions left with a minute 28 to go in the first half. They'll dish it over to the right side to Lekalot. Lekalot tries to save it. A pass that was Aaron and uh, saved it into the hands on time of Idaho State. Minute 19 to go for the first half now. Idaho State at the top. Dribbling over to the left side. It's Taylor with the basketball. Get it over to the right wing now. Minute 10 to go with this ball game. Top of the key. Three thrown up, and it's off the mark that time. It won't go for Karstatter. The 6'7", 210 freshman. Now the Bobcats in transition. We'll get it to Lekala in the middle and a kick. A kick going to be coming for Idaho State. We'll keep the ball with Bobcats. Exactly one minute left to go with the first half. 21-19, and the Bobcats in front by two. Into the ball game will go Zach Vinston, the freshman out of Springville, Utah. Checks into the ball game. Patterson down to the baseline. Will inbound it over the top to Abdul Muhammad. Down to 58 seconds left to go in the first half until halftime of the Bobcats with a two-point lead. Driving in Xavier Bishop off glass. A whistle coming against Idaho State. Now with the Bobcats will go twice to the free throw line. Two free throws going to be coming up this foul. Coming against zero. A.J. Berger in his first. And the team's already got ten. Double bonus for the Bobcats. Montana State right now. Seven for ten for the free throw line. A two-point lead. Trying to extend it a bit further. Xavier Bishop's free throws up and good. Xavier Bishop, good free throw shooter for the Bobcats. Struggled a little bit at the end of that Weaver State game to come away with those free shots. Check it, free throws up and good. And Kellen Times will check into the ball game now for the Bobcats. 51.3 seconds left. Adding a little defense here is good standing Sprinkle and company. Sack four with the basketball is Sorensen now. He drives over to the right side, trying to go up. Nice defense coming out of Kellen Times, and Abdul Muhammad gets the rebound. 40 seconds remain to the first half. Bobcats up four, trying to go a bit further. They get past half court, and they 3 to 19 to the Bobcats right now, holding to a four point lead, trying to extend that a bit further. They can take it down to about 10 seconds on the uh, game clock with the shot clock down to 17 seconds now. Driving in off a uh, little bit of body that time. Raekwon Battle goes up. Fight for the rebound now to the ground. Abdul's got it. Now it's going to be knocked out of his hand. Still fighting for that rebound. And it was knocked out of bounds by Idaho State. It will stay with the Bobcats. So now that shot clock is turned off with, or it should be on, yeah, 20 seconds. There's going to be just 1.8 second differential between the shot and game clock. 21.8 seconds remain in the first half. He got it over to the right side. Get it off over to the top to Raekwon Battle. Here's Xavier Bishop. So the Bobcats can hold and basically get one of the final shots off. Just two seconds to separate the two. Down to six seconds to shoot. Xavier Bishop at the top of the key will throw up a three-pointer. Halfway into the night, it will not go. Fight for the rebound. Idaho State's got it. Half quarter, he dubbed that side of the gates. Trying to get the offense going on the other side of it. Idaho State's bringing in the second half a three-and-a-half-minute scoring drop. They're trying to get things going here. So at the top of the basketball is Tyreek Cool. A little bit quiet. Averages 11 points, just two points for him in that first half. Everyone was quite quiet with just 23 and 19 points scored. Into the center of the paint, shot up and good. That time for Brayden Parker. Line of the center of the lane that time, and it brings it back to a two-point game. 23-21 of the Bobcats holding to a two-point lead. 19-30 to go in the second half. Bobcats working around the timeline. Abdul Mahama with the basketball. Over to the top to Tyler Patterson, trying to post up inside is Jabril Bello. They get inside to Bello on that right block. Bello now spins down over to the baseline, spins back over to the center of the lane. Little hook shot will not go. Doesn't get a piece of anything that time. He's a little bit further away from the rim, I think, than what he thought underneath there. And that will go ahead and give Idaho State the basketball. They try to tie, if not take the lead. There were 19 minutes left to go in this ball game. Here the top quarter, driving over to the right side. Porter will get it over to the left wing now. Over with the basketball is Smaley. Smaley with four seconds to shoot, down to three. Porter driving into the lane, shot up, and he's fouled with 1.3 seconds left to go on the shot clock. That foul's going, called against Abdul Muhammad, his first, and the team's first of the second half. That's a good play by Cool as point guard. He recognizes the shot clock, 
and just absolutely puts his head down going to the rim, trying to get himself a couple of free throws when he really could have been a turnover. Yeah, with just 1.2 seconds remaining on that shot clock, that's a tough one. Free throws up, no good. Off the front board that time, and free throw woes continue for Idaho State. They're just one of four for the free throw line for 25%. back-to-back -back misses and they do just that around the uh, rim in a fight for the rebound last touch by Abdul Muhammad it will stay with Idaho State now Sam Alakalap will check into the game and Abdul Muhammad will check out with 1845 to go with the second half 23 21 of the Bobcats in front by two right now Idaho State will inbound it get over to the right side now to Austin Bailey and driving inside, Smaley down to the baseline will cut, get up with two points and tie this ball game up. Back to back baskets coming for Idaho State. It's now tied up 23 23 with 18 29 to go in the second half. Rizabo Dabu at the top kicks it over to Xavier Bishop. Now Sam Lackalot back over to Xavier Bishop. Now Amad Adamu. Adamu drives into the lane, lets a floater go off glass. It's good. 25 23. Amad Adamu, it's been a while since we've seen Amad go off and get a whole bunch of points. See if he can't have a monster second half here and get things moving along. 25-23, the Bobcats in front by two, trying to play a little defense. Around the timeline go the Bengals, over to the left side, now Tyreek Cool will get it down into the corner, and they clear it off over to the top to Braden Parker. Parker over to the right side, now back over to Parker. Nine seconds to shoot, they'll get it over to Carr. Carr now gets it over to Smaley. Smaley will get it to Porter, who drives into the lane. They thought there was some contact, no such luck. It's off the side of the rim, and the Bobcats get the rebound. Trying to go down inside of like a lot. He loses the handle, and it's going the other way now. Another turnover for the Bobcats. That's their now eighth of today's ball game. With Smaley with the basketball. Get it over to, to uh, Tyreek Cool. Cool with a jumper from about seven foot. It will not go down to the baseline. The rebound coming to Bobcat win. Tyler Patterson will get it to Xavier Bishop. 17-15 to go with the second half. Now Abba to Tommy from the left wing. Three on the way. And down. And the Bobcats get there first. One of ten from three now. Abba to with a couple of back-to-back -back points. He's up to nine now with that triple on the Bobcats up 28-23. Feels like a relief off your shoulders all of a sudden a three-pointer goes in. You're down to the baseline. Patterson doing a nice little work defensively. He'll get it to the hands of Xavier Bishop, and the Bobcats looking to work quick yet again. Xavier Bishop driving in, and it's going to be knocked out of his hands, out of bounds, and it will stay with the Bobcats underneath their own basket. It's nice to see a little energy, that three. Like you said, it took a little bit of pressure off, but it also got the bench excited and everybody's talking a little bit more they get a stop on the other end bishop drives into the paint has a chance to try and score it gets it deflected but cats have a little bit of oomph in their step I cut it down over to bellow trying to cut down to the baseline that ball's kind of tangled up a little bit i'll call it jump ball and it will stay with the bobcats with 16 36 to go with the second half 28 23 the bobcats sit right down with a five-point lead Xavier Bishop will take it out. Inbound it to Sam Lackalot. Around the top line go the Bobcats. Just nine seconds to shoot now. Xavier Bishop in the right wing. Drives in now. Kicks to Lackalot. Lackalot will get that three-pointer block that time. And Idaho State now working and stolen away. Ahmed Adamu with it. It got out of the reach that time of Idaho State. Now Ahmed off glass. He's to double figures. Another two coming the way of Ahmed Adamu. And he's got now seven of the points scored in this second half of the Bobcats. They lead it 30 to 23, a seven point lead. Adamu with a little curly kneel there, flashing the ball, get Parker to leave his feet, so he's got a wide open layup. And a left wing three has the answer for Idaho State. Daxton Carr with a three pointer that time over time to Patterson. It makes it a 30 to 26 ball game. Back to a two possession shot. The team that shoots 73% for the free throw line. Free throws up, second one, no good. A rare two misses coming out of Jabril Bello. He's one of the better free throw shooting big men in the conference. 15-40 to go with the second half. 30-26, to 26, the Bobcats with a four-point lead. Idaho State trying to cut down on that right now with the right wing. It's cool driving down to the baseline underneath the basket. We'll clear it over to the top now to Austin Smaley. Smaley over to the top of the right wing, Taylor. Taylor dribbles and gives it off to Cool. Eight seconds left on that shot clock, and it's knocked out of bounds by Xavier Bishop. I think this is the best we've seen Xavier Bishop play defense this part of the season so far. He's locked in and on that point guard. Yeah, he really is. And 
part of the game plan appears to be to pressure cool when he has the ball. He's a little loose with it, a little casual with it at times. Both he and, and Kellen Tynes have gone after the ball. Fadeaway jumper and another foul coming against the Bobcats and again late in the shot clock. It was just one second left on that shot clock and the whistle's coming against Great Asobar. That's his third now for Great and that's the team second. Yeah, they called the ball all of a sudden here on Sam Lekalot. Oh, okay. He wouldn't even guard the shooter there. So now the officials are going to get together. Going to go over to the monitor and see who it was on. <laughs> the replay, he didn't even touch anybody. He didn't touch anybody. On well, the replay that we just saw here in house. So Sam Blackalot, I guess uh, he's going to get his first in the grand scheme of things. Sam will get his first. It would have been the third coming against Great. So that helps out. Yeah, probably better for the Bobcats to spread those fouls out. But the foul is a, it's a tough thing. and gets us back to a one possession game. All right, so Zach Vincenton will check in the center out of Utah, Springville, Utah. A little full court pressure coming out of Idaho State for one of the first times today as Xavier Bishop will get past half court. Go over to the right side, get it down inside of Sam Blackalot. Blackalot fakes the shot, now dishes over to the other post. Grant Asabar goes up and he's fouled. Grant Asabar will go to the free throw line to be able to shoot two. This one's coming against number 32, Zach Vincenton, his second personal team second. 15-01 left to come with the second half, 30-28. to 28. The Bobcats lead it by two. And uh, no media timeout. We already took the under 16-minute media timeout. Great Asabar. A couple of dribbles there for the free throw line. And the free throw's up and good. That time for great. 31-28, the Bobcats in front by three. Second free throw on the way. No good that time off the mark, and the rebound cover the way of Idaho State inside. They trail it by three, 14.57 to go in the second half. As cool passes half court, gets it over to the left wing and clears it back over to the top now to Zach Vincenton. Vincenton. Dribbles inside and now uh, dishes back outside after that lane filled up. Go back inside off to Vincent. Now over to the right side. Here's Smaley. Smaley dribbling over to the left. He's got five seconds again. Late in the shot clock. Three pointer up. No good. That time off the mark for Austin Smaley. Everybody coming away. And the Montana State Bobcats kick it over to the right side to Raekwon Battle. Battle now with a couple of dribbles will clear it to the top to Xavier Bishop with 14 23 to go in the second half. 31 28. The Bobcats are in front by three. Xavier Bishop down to the baseline. Gets it to Amadadama. Floater in the lane. He is good. Amadadama has got that down, that floater down. He's done that his entire career here at Montana State. They're falling today. 13 points for him. He leads all scoring. And Adamu's the guy that uh, has stepped up and found that rhythm offensively. He's got nine in the second half, 13 overall. Left wing three, wide open for Daxton Carr. Will not go. The wide open shots haven't really gone for either team. 9% are the Bobcats from three. There's Lackalot with a finish inside. And the Bobcats now 35-28 the leaders. But the Bobcats just 9% from three. On the other side, Idaho State 21% from three. The Bobcats with a nice lead here of seven. They're trying to play some tight defense as they post up down to the corner. They get it off over to Vincent. Vincent now will clear it over to the right side. Again, down to nine seconds. This one knocked out of the hands by Raekwon, but then it's regained again down to the baseline. He's whistled for a foul. As Emma Taylor was driving in down to the baseline, this one's coming against Raekwon Battle, his first, team's third of the second half. Looked like, uh, looked like a lot of ball that time. But. Yeah, the replay made it look like a lot of ball as well right there, but the official must have felt like the offhand down low made contact. And obviously put a very good shooter at the free throw line. Idaho State's best shooter is Taylor. Taylor's free throw is good. 35-29 and the Bobcats hold a six point lead with 13-22 to go in this second half. Second free throw up, good. To a five-point lead for the Bobcats. 
Full court pressure coming out by Idaho State. Sam Black a lot. How about this? He can dribble down the court, gets it past, breaks the press that time, gets it past half court. And Xavier Bishop now will get the offense at. Impressive. Sam Black a lot. He's got a lot of weapons in that. He's going to be a really good player. Just a young freshman joined in this group and already making an impact. As they'll get it inside a great Ashimal on that right block. Dribbles into the center of the lane now. Goes over to the other block. And another young freshman making moves. 37 to 30 as the, as the layup is good for Great Asabar. 12.50 to go in the second half. Bobcats hold right now a seven point lead. Dish it over to the right side, now over to the right corner. Austin Smaley with the basketball in his hand will clear it over to the right side. Here's Sorensen. Sorensen to the top of the key, dishes over to the right side. A lot of contact inside. Five seconds to shoot. Sorensen driving in and a whistle coming again against Raekwon Battle. It's going to be Raekwon second, team fourth. Nick Cazales and Jabril Bella will check into the ballgame. Boy, the freshman bigs, you called it out there, but they've had a really nice impact second half. Sam Leclot came in at the very end of the first half and did a nice job. Did a great job here in the second half. And Great Osobar has been aggressive offensively. He's now got five points, two for two from the field. He's got five rebounds as well. And both have been contributors on the defensive end. So nice contributions by the freshman bigs. Here's Liam Sorensen for the basketball. Again, 10 seconds. They continue. I don't think they've gotten a shot off with more than five seconds on the shot clock. Is this with down four seconds and a travel call? Side official. It was an extra step from Malik Porter that will give the basketball back over to the Bobcats. Bobcats are kind of in that, that point right here. Up seven, 12 to go. A lot of momentum going their way. This is the moment you like to push this thing up to 12, 15 and kind of give yourself that separation that a offensively challenged Idaho State team is going to have a hard time returning from. So the Bobcats four for their last four down the field trying to continue that as Xavier Bishop has it at the top of the key, driving over to the right side, dishes to Raekwon Battle, right wing three up and because they don't have a ton of offense to come back from a double-digit lead. Yeah, Idaho stay right down. No field goals in the last four minutes and nine seconds. Kellen Times checks in and plays some great defense, but he is going to be charged with a foul that time. Kellen will pick up. Uh, Kellen's going to pick up his first. Team's fit. Five team fouls coming against the Bobcats. Two team fouls coming against Idaho State with 11.43 to go in the second half. I know, stable inbound it, and get it over to Liam Sorensen, who is met by Kelly Times as soon as he gets past half court. Gets a high screen, dribbles over to the left, now dribbling back over to the center of the lane. He spins his way in the center of the lane. Great defense by Kelly Times. There was no way to make that basketball as the shot's up, but it's too hard off the back of the rim that time. of the Bobcats now with the basketball and that 10-point lead. Here's Jabril Bello with the top of the key. Bobcats running big here with Bello and Great Asabar both in the lineup. Little dribble weave that time for uh, for Xavier Bishop. He'll get it. And the two-hand dunk coming from Jabril Bello that time. 42-30 and the Bobcats right now extending it to a 12-point lead with 11.05 to go in the ball game. Get it off over to the top now to Malik Porter. Porter for the basketball will dish it over to the left side. Left side three up nowhere near for A.J. Berger, and it's way off the mark. And a rebound cover the way of the Bobcats. Here's Xavier Bishop weaving his way through. Great Asabar. Oh, looked like he wanted that three at the top, but holds it off that top. Now it's Xavier Bishop who will dish it down over to Bellow. Bellow with the right side is foul. So Jabril Bella will go to the free throw line now to try to extend a 12-point lead for the Bobcats. This whistle's coming on number two, Tyreek Cool, who's the first to get three, and the team's got four. Yeah, and you see a little bit of pep in the step now. Bobcats can feel the momentum has shifted, that they've got some rhythm on both ends of the court, and now they're starting to get some things done. Bobcats here really on a set, they're on a 7-0 run over the last two minutes, and Idaho State with their third scoring drought of over three minutes. The one being six minutes was pretty pretty long in the first half, but this is the second time in the second half they got a three-minute scoring drought. Try to extend this right now. 8-0 scoring run a bit further is Jabril Bella with the free throw line. 43-30, the Bobcats up by 13, their largest lead by far of this ball game. This is the second one's up and good. So a 14-point lead for the Bobcats. Kelly Dives playing some nice defense here on Tyreek Cool, who checks back into the ballgame. He's been held to just two. He averages 11. Leads the team. As this one's going to be out of the hands. Down inside. He was trying to turn the corner with Brayton Parker, and it's stolen away by Great Asabar. 
Asabar will feed it to Bello. Bello now inside of the left block goes up, and a whistle going to becoming a blocking foul against Idaho State. It's on the floor. It's going to be the team's fourth. So 10-21 remains in the second half, 44 to 30. Montana State is in front by 14. Whistle came against number five, Austin Smaley, and that's going to be his third. Let's see if they can create some tempo from their defense. Uh, that they will. Xavier Bishop at the top of the zone defense right now will meet uh, Cool as they'll dish it over to the right side. The Bobcats holding to a 16-point lead. Back over to Cool now at this left corner, at this left wing, trying to uh, get something set up. He'll dribble over to the right now, and the Bobcats will jump right back in. As a whistle comes on the ground, this one's coming against number one, Xavier Bishop. It's his second personal, the team's now sixth. Yeah, and the Bobcats just show the 1-3-1, one, one, show and go defense. They just go right into man-to-man -man as soon as the ball gets to half court. Dish it over to the right side. 9.53 to go in the second half. Here's a right wing three thrown up. Sky high, it will not go. It bounces its way out. Jabril Bello with the rebound, and now here comes Xavier Bishop. And this offense is the Bobcats have a 16-point lead with 9.40 to go in the second half. This is much kind of how we anticipated this game. It was a back and forth one of the first half. The Bobcats start to pull away here in the second half, cut it down over the baseline, and a whistle comes. That's great Asabar. We'll go to the free throw line and be able to shoot. Bobcats, Skinner done. You've got Adamu and Bello have played well in the second half, but Great Elsevar can make a couple of free throws here. You'll be the third leading scorer, and you'll have 18 points just coming from your two big guys inside. Daxton Carr was called with his third. Foul coming against him as that free throw will not go for Great Elsevar, the first one. But Idaho State's had a number of just Droughts. They had a six and a half minute scoring drought of the first half, then a three minute scoring drought of the first half going into halftime. Now they're in the middle of a close to four minute scoring drought right now where they haven't been able to score. Great Asabar misses both, but it's knocked out of bounds on the rebound that time by Braden Parker. It will stay with the Bobcats. Montana State basketball with 9.29 to go in the second half. 46 to 30. The Bobcats in front by 16. Trying to build upon an 11-0 run right now and a 16-point lead. Great Asabar at the top. They've done that a little bit more in this contest than others, the, the two bigs with Great and uh, Jabril. Here's a right wing three from there. Down, it's good. And the Bobcats make it even a little bit further. A 19-point lead, 49-30. to 30. They make it a 14-0 run. Here's Cool on the right wing. Dishes over to the top to Braden Parker now. Parker off over to Smaley. Smaley. Smaley now will dish it over to the left wing, and it's a three-pointer thrown up for Daxton Carr. A whistle coming. It's going to be on Nick Azalis. They're blocking out. So Nick will pick up his first. The team has seven. So into the bonus now going as Idaho State. With 8.55 still to be played in the second half. 49 to 30. The Bobcats sitting to a 19-point lead right now. Idaho State has no field goals since the 16-30 mark. So seven and a half minutes. They've made a couple free throws in that stretch, but they have not made a field goal in an eternity. Free throws up and go to that stops a 14-0 scoring run for the Bobcats in four minutes and six seconds. Second free throw going to be upcoming now for Emmett Taylor. Taylor's got himself eight points and make it now nine. This is a leading scorer for Idaho State. Full court pressure coming out of the way of Idaho State. Nick Gazelas will get the basketball, not get it over to Kellen Times. Times pass half court with basketball. Played some good quality minutes here today as Kellen. He's up to 10 minutes played in this ball game already. Xavier Bishop driving down underneath. Now the dish back over to Kellen Times. A couple of different lineups we've seen out of Coach Danny Sprinkle today. He's got the two-point guard system, too, with Xavier Bishop and Kellen Times. And this one's going to be stolen away. Cool's got it. And he's got the numbers one-on-one. Gazelas now will play a little defense, and the shot's up. No good. That time from four foot. And the Bobcats now will run it the other way. Here's Nick Gazelas. Transition three. Up and down. The three-pointers are right and in here in the second half. And the Bobcats are up by 20. 
52 to 32. Four for 14 now. That's a little bit better after 0 for 8 in the first half. The Bobcats go ahead and extend that a little bit further and go four for six in the second half. Is this one stolen away by uh, from Cool by Xavier Bishop and now Nick again. And that time it won't go off the side of the rim with the transition three. Bobcats on a 17 to two run over the last five minutes. He's trying to make a yeah, three point play. Will be number four, Emmett Taylor. And the free throws up and good. The Bank should die 52 to 35 ball game. But the Bobcats having their lead. 17 right now. Little zone defense for Idaho State here. For the first time today, Kellen Times gets it over to Great Asabar. Asabar over to the other block. Here's Bellow goes up and he's fouled. I tell you, Osobar and Bello have a nice little working relationship in there. They're able to pass the ball well. Very tight spaces, not a lot of room. And they do a great job of looking for each other when they're in that high-low look. Right there, Osobar threw a heck of a bounce pass to get Bello that look. This is a team that uh, averages near the top of the big sky when it comes to assists. They can move the basketball well. And the free throws up and good, and that gives the Bobcats back an 18-point lead, 53-35. With 7:21 remaining in the second half, Bobcats looking to get two and two in the conference. That second free throw would not go. Bobcats set right now, or were picked to finish third in the league, trying to live up to that. Early on in the league schedule, 7:05 to go in the second half. Dish it over to the top to Idaho State. Now over to the right side. Here at the top, it's Benston, down to seven seconds. Cool will kick it outside over to the right wing. Right wing three up, and no good. That's him off the mark for Daxton and Carr. And the Bobcats with the basketball right now with a six, 6.45 to come with the ball game, and holding to an 18-point lead, trying to go up by 20. Boy, this second half has just turned into something else for the Bobcats after having a close game in that first half and it was just a three-point lead for the Bobcats going into the halftime but right now they hold a 20-point lead down to seven seconds but they hold an 18-point lead trying to get to 20 seconds knocked out of bounds and it will stay with the Bobcats underneath their own basket just 4.6 seconds remain on the shot clock Porter and Berger and check into the ball game now for Idaho State Times looking to go with the basketball somewhere. He goes to Great Asabar. Turn, spin, nice move. Right in front of the rim and puts the Bobcats up by 20. Great Asabar having a nice game. Asabar seven points. He's got five rebounds. There too. We talked about just feeding the basketball around and being able to find different guys driving inside. Here's a shot put up in the center of the lane. Runner for Sorensen won't go off the mark and a rebound for Jabril Bello. Bobcats for the first time all night lead by 20 here have a chance to really put their foot on the throat of Idaho State who's just had a hard time scoring the basketball 16 in points in the second half in 14 minutes Gallant Chimes now with the right wing three up and no two they're gonna call it right in front of the three-point line that time two points a jumper on the Bobcats up by 22 57 to 35 it's funny when all of a sudden shots just start to go and they start to fall and you can see it's such a rhythm such a and such an act as Kellen Times will steal it and go. Oh, he loses the handle that time, but he traveled. He had the wide open look with a right handed layup that time, but he just lost the basketball and he traveled. Patrick McMahon and Sam Lekalot both check into the ball game with the Bobcats up by 22 and 527 remaining in the second half. Yeah, nice play by Kellen there. He gets the steal, wanted to set his feet to try and dunk it instead of just taking the easy deuce. Caused the travel, but. He has had a, a pretty significant contribution, both halves on the defensive end. Idaho State, around the timeline they go, and a whistle coming. Inside, a foul coming against the Bobcats. It's gonna come on number 10, Patrick McMahon, the Palmer, Alaska native who checked in, gets his first, and the team's got nine on to the charity stripe, goes Idaho State right now, down by 22. Idaho State's been 8 of 12 for the free throw line of the Bobcats in the second half have struggled just 13 of 22 for the free throw line. That's 59%. Free throws up and good. 
57 to now 36. 21 point lead for the Bobcats. The Bobcats have made 11 of their last 12 field goal attempts. So the exact opposite of what we saw in the first half. Here in the second half, they're shooting 81% from the field, which is going to give you some good results every day of the week. And second free throw is good, and that gives a 20-point lead for the Bobcats. Kelly Times gets it past half court. Now it's Jabril Bellow with the basketball, standing at a high post over there at the right side. And turning, spinning, that gets it over to Kelly Times on a bullet pass. That time a double dribble coming against Kelly Times that time. Gallant Times called with a double dribble that time. Don't see that too often. Yeah, he just used his, his hand to try and collect it. And the official interpreted that as a dribble. And that led to the second attempt right after. Kick it over to the left corner. Corner three thrown up for Idaho State. No good. Off the mark. It's time for Austin Smanley. That will give Montana State the basketball right now with a 20-point lead at 435. Again, with a second half, a chance to get some of these younger guys some minutes, too, here in this ball game as Xavier Bishop drives in. Count the basket. And to the free throw line. This whistle holding on number two, Terry Cool. And that's going to be Cool's fourth, team six. Amadadamu checks in. I think one of the cool parts of this contest, too, is uh, get a look on our viewing audience of uh, that and one. But it's been different guys kind of stepping up in this game. I feel like, you know, a lot of those younger guys kind of like uh, great Asabars, Kellen Times, kind of stepped up. Those starters who have been good all season long and continue to average in double figures have had a little bit of a quieter night. Yeah, they really have. And you needed somebody to step up. Adamu got it going early second half, and then Bello joined the punch, and then all of a sudden you got Osabar doing it, and then it just gets contagious. Three star falling. First half, you shoot 26% from the field. Second half, you're now shooting 82%. It's just a tale of two halves, and it got contagious. Well, the timeline goes Idaho State. Down to 10 seconds to find a shot here with 4.08 left to go in the second half. Crosses in front of himself does cool. And cool with three seconds. We'll dish it off to Smaley. Smaley throws up the three. It's off the mark. Doesn't how shooting only four for 15, but Idaho State is three for 20. And the Bobcats have been on a roll offensively in the second half. And Xavier Bishop will get past half court. Dish it over to Abba to And now it's, now it's Patrick McMahon with the basketball. Dish it over to the right side to Sam Black a lot. Now back over to McMahon. Bobcats looking to be able to get a shot here with nine seconds remaining on that shot clock. Xavier Bishop turns, spin, driving into the lane. Three seconds to spare. Dishes it to McMahon. McMahon with one second. Didn't know the shot clock. Amada Damu throws it up. And Tommen didn't get a piece of the rim as he threw it up with about 0.7 seconds. Shot clock violation will get the basketball back over to Idaho State. Nick Gazalis and Borja Fernandez will check in. And a couple of starters, Jabril Bello and Xavier Bishop will check out. Job well done. Up by 23 right now. Very nice job by those two seniors, and Damu remains the lone starter in the game for Montana State. Idaho State dishes over to the right side to Smaley. Smaley into the center of the lane, turn spins, and goes up with it. No good, it's off the side of the rim, and the rebound comes for Patrick McMahon. Here comes Nick Gazelis down the court. 3.03 to, to go in his second half, 30. Seven points put up for Idaho State. 60 points for the Bobcats th thus far. McMahon gets it into Lackalot. Lackalot now on the right post. Turn, spins, right hand. Up, no good. Off the side of the rim that time. Good post move inside, but just a little bit catching the side of that rim that time, but it won't go. It's Idaho State now outside the top line. They'll go down inside now. Down inside this time to Mazinga. Zingu that time will go up around the rim, but it will not kill with a rebound coming for the Montana State Bobcats. 2.25 left to come with the second half, and the timeout going to be taken by Coach Danny Sprinkle just for a substitution. As Isaac Spears will check in, Amada Dabu will check out. 2.24 left to come with the second half, 16 to 37. The Bobcats in front by 23. Now all those starters are out of the game. And Idaho State will go a little bit deeper into this, too. Bring in number 14, Kyle Carsetter into the ball game. There's McMahon driving down to the baseline, cuts it over to the other corner, now over to the top. Spears for three, left wing. Oh, halfway in and out. Will not go that time. 
And Idaho State gets the rebound of the basketball. Bobcats up by 23 right now with 2.05 to go with the second half. Looking like the Bobcats are going to go ahead and roll to their second victory. The Big Sky gets it 2-2. Two two. A couple of competitive games next week. A couple of big ones. Got to get that Idaho game on Thursday. And then it's Cacaroos on Sunday. That's going to be a whiteout courtesy of Universal Athletics. So a complete whiteout. You can get your white shirt from Universal Athletics. Or uh, you're going to be giving out some of the white hats to the first couple of people through the gates. As they go around the top line, five seconds left to go on that shot clock. Three-pointer top of the key won't go for Car Center. And a rebound coming down inside for Idaho State. They'll go back up with it and foul. Count the basket. And to the free throw line this time coming for Gurdon Bazingu. A minute 33 left to go with the second half. Bobcats in front right now by 23. Make that 21 after the and one and now going to the free throw line to try to make it a three-point play where Fernandez is going to be charged with that foul and that's his third team step free throws up but good and that makes it a three-point play 60 to 40 and the Bobcat lead is down to 20 now Isaac Spears with the basketball on the left wing gives it over to Nick Gazelis the top. Gisales is the one running point. Interesting, we don't always see Nick running at point, but late in a ball game, they have it just as that. I give it over to Spears. Spears now driving into the center of the lane, lets it jump her up, and it's off the side of the rim, and it won't go that time. Minute 08 left to go with the second half, with the Bobcats with a 20 point lead. At the top, driving over the left is Sorensen. Sorensen over to the top of the key. Under a minute left to go with the ball game now. Right wing three thrown up. Whoa, he took an extra step. That was pretty adamant, but uh, he'll call the far side. The Bobcats will bring the basketball down. There's Nick Gazelas over to the right side to Spears. Isaac Spears now backs his way up to the right side, backed his way out of bounds. He's trying to back up to try to get into three point range, and he backed his, himself a little bit too far on that sideline right in front of the Bobcat bench. So it's Idaho State basketball with 40 seconds remaining in the ballgame. And the Bobcats holding to a 20 point lead. Driving inside this one, knocked out of there by Borja Fernandez now. Shot clock turned off, and the Bobcats are going to be able to dribble this one out. And go ahead and get their 10th victory on the double figures, welcoming in the new year with a brand new victory. 60 to 40, the Bobcats will get it done. They get to 2 and 2 with the Big Sky. Idaho State will fall to now 2 and 11 on the year. They're going to be 0 and 4 to start the conference season. Just nine seconds still remain on that uh, game clock. Really, it's all the way done. Two seconds, one, and that will do it. The Bobcats will go out and get their 10th.